Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today we're going to talk about conversion rate optimization uh, for restoration companies. An incredibly important but often neglected topic is conversion rate optimization. Today we're going to talk about uh, what it is, why it's important, um, how you can impact your bottom line and how to improve your conversion rate uh, online. So if you have people already coming in to your website regularly, uh, you do not need more traffic to, need to increase the number of leads you get. Um, instead, you have, if you have website visits, yet nobody's calling you, something else is the issue. Looking at your Crow, I'll refer to conversion rate optimization uh, as Crow, so just as simple. Uh, you, this is one of the steps you should take, looking at your conversion rate optimization, looking at your Crow. The thing you touch is that you only need to take a care of a couple of things on your site um, that uh, re require more or less work to see incredible improvements. Here, I say increasing your conversion rate from 2%. So out of every 100 people, 2% of them turn to customers. So that's like two people uh, to 4% to, to four people is essentially equal to doubling your revenue, at least the revenue received from online marketing. Uh, the thing is that you uh, only need to take care of a couple of things. Yeah, I've said that. So it's way easier to leverage existing traffic that's coming into your website. So existing advertising campaigns that bring in traffic or existing SEO results uh, rather than trying to get more of new traffic. So knowing of conversion rate optimization, knowing of growth will also help you understand that if you're being pitched something you don't need more traffic by perhaps some, somebody else wants to sell you on a service, uh, you may be being pitched something you do not need. You may know, like knowing that your conversion rate optimization is not optimal, uh, is uh, perhaps going to help you understand that uh, why your ads may not be generating as many leads as you want. Uh, your marketing agency may be doing a great job on their, on their part, SEO and Google Ads, but if your conversion rate optimization is not properly done, you will still not get what you're paying for, and will put the blame on something or someone not directly responsible. So. Uh, let's put the blame on something that is likely responsible for uh, you not getting as, as many calls as you want, uh, even though you're bringing in traffic. So what may be affecting your conversion rate? Um, as said before, improving your conversion rate is not that hard. You just need to know, you just need to know what to look for. So here are some of the most common issues. A slow website, uh, website content, not mentioning what consumers want to see, uh, reviews, good reviews, uh, how quickly can you help them? Do you offer free estimate and other stuff? And bad, unresponsive design that, um, especially for mobile devices, since half of all website traffic is for mobile. So uh, before I dive into how to fix all of these, uh, if you don't know what a conversion rate uh, even is, it's basically uh, you send 100 people to your website and how many of them turn into a a a goal of yours. So if it's a call, how many of these people call you? And if your conversion rate is like 5%, that means out of every 100 people, five people call you. That's it. So um, uh, we want to, what the goal with this video is, is perhaps I've gotten into it way too quickly, but the goal is to show you how we can leverage uh, different technical things on your website and, and how to, uh, different uh, pieces of content you can put on your website that you can improve that to perhaps 10%, 20% without chasing more traffic. That's that's all it is. So that's what we're going to do here. So starting with a slow website, most consumers won't pay wait uh, past three seconds for a website to load. Very impatient today. Everybody is, is in a hurry. Everybody is rushing somewhere. So nobody's going to wait past three seconds for a slow website to load, especially if they have a lot of uh, like water damage, if they have a leaking problem. Uh, they're going to be in a big hurry. So, yeah, you better have a fast website. This is how a fast website looks like on Google's own tool called PageSpeed Insights. So if you want to speed up your website, it's also one of the ranking factors for SEO. It's going to help you with that. Um, uh, PageSpeed Insights tool from Google directly is going to give you a score. So you want to have a score uh, of 90 or above. Even if you're at like 80 or something, it's good. But if you don't want to be in the red zone from zero to 49. That's terribly slow and it requires immediate fixing. So this is what the interface you're going to see when you enter a really fast website into PageSpeed Insights. You want to see this. And if this is not that hard to achieve, you may be like, oh, what the hell is this technical stuff? 
No, there's it's really actually simple. If you have, for example, a WordPress site, which most people do, it's going to be very simple. I'm going to show you how. So, um, yeah, so these are the scores. Uh, Google will then give you suggestions on how to improve your website speed. Now, here's the problem. The problem is that Google suggestions are directed towards developers, not marketers or business owners. So if you have, for example, I'll get to that later, but uh, if you have like a custom built team or something like that, you're going to need help from your developer. So however, most of the, their suggestions could be narrowed down to just a cup to a couple of umbrella issues. Now, what do I mean? So most of these suggestions you're going to see are going to be due to slow hosting or problems with your host. Um, you could have a bad hosting provider, or you, you have uh, unoptimized images, or you have bloated code. Now, how to fix this? If you're a WordPress user, you're lucky because there are a few plugins you can use, and with just a couple of clicks of a button, you can see massive improvements. So if, as you may have guessed, this is the most technical aspect of conversion rate optimization. However, if you're on WordPress, all you need is a code minifying plugin like WP Rocket and an image optimization like a uh, plugin like ShortPixel. Um, you'll just need to pay for a license for both of these to see massive improvements. They're very, like, like they're very affordable. Uh, WP Rocket is like $50 a year, I, uh, I guess, if they haven't changed the prices recently. Uh, short pixel is even less. Uh, so what do these plugins do? If you have bloated code, which means simply you have a lot of unnecessary website code on your site, uh, you want to minify that as much as possible without, um, you know, damaging anything on your website or breaking anything. Uh, short pixel will help you minify your images uh, so that a lot of times people use way too big of resolutions that there are unnecessary and short picks will help optimize that. So it just takes a few clicks of a button for both of these if you're more pressed. So if you're more pressed, you're lucky. But if you're using a custom team or a custom content management system, uh, you've built a website completely from scratch with the help of a developer, you will need help from that developer uh, to optimize uh, your website speed. So but most people have WordPress, simple WordPress sites, and this should be enough to help you out. Um, now, here is number two, website content. Now, you want to point out what people want to see. They want to see good reviews. Uh, they want to see benefits for them. We, you can respond instantly. As soon as you call, as they call, you offer a free inspection. You help deal with their insurance provider. This is some of the things you can point out. We have, we have certifications, you have licenses. Uh, point all of these out. They'll, these will help build trust. Uh, they, so sh let, let's go through this really quickly. Once you made site, your site easily accessible through fast loading time. So once you, your apps is actually loaded up, it's time to convince your visitors to uh, that your business is the right choice for their needs. As I said, Point out what they want to see. Your Google Business Profile reviews. If you have Yelp reviews, put them on a page too. If you have Facebook reviews, put them all on the page. Um, uh, put, the, uh, put them right at the top of the page. That's perhaps something I should have emphasized because most people will not scroll that much on your site. They will not scroll down if you have a lot of text. They will not read a lot of that text. They will just go, uh, they will just see what is at the top of the page, maybe scroll a little bit and then decide whether to leave your site to go to another business uh, or call you. So what's at the very top of your page is going to make or break your conversions in most cases. So um, not the most, yeah, that's what, exactly what I pointed out. Put yourself into your customer's shoes and ask yourself what you want to see from a research company that makes them seem trustful. Yeah, and then display exactly that on your website's page. Um, additional ideas for website content. Uh, you should also make it clear that there are real people behind your website. Make an R team page or R staff page and have a few professional photos taken from them. Link to each of their Facebook and LinkedIn profiles. Perhaps that can also help. Uh, just to show you that there are real people behind websites so people can see who they're going to be communicated with before they even call. You know, that's good practice. Um, it makes your business seem like a, it makes your website seem pretty legit at that point. Um, you should have a dedicated art team page. You can also display one of those photos, perhaps where all of you are together on your homepage. Uh, display rights to certifications, link to relevant websites where accredita accreditations can be verified. For example, if you have an 
uh, EPA certification. Uh, I know they have an option to like search for a uh, search for a certified company, and you can perhaps link to that search results page where you search for yourself, for example. Um, this can also help your SEO because Google will see that you a hey, legitimately certified. So. Uh, make it easy for consumers to take action. Have a button with a phone number after every couple of paragraphs of text that ask them to call now and still a sense of urgency in them. Say that water, fire, mall damage uh, can be hazardous for their health and the health of anybody who's present in their property, and it can devalue that same property. Um, so, yeah. And also one more tip, if you have rewards from platforms like Home Advisor, they have offered those badges where they say, like, top 10 company uh you know in for example in an in in one geographical area a top rated company in that geographical area for water but water damage or something like that. display those badges too uh it can you know pr uh, help even more um you can just add those badges on your website so i think home advisor expertise.com and perhaps even angie's also offer those uh badges Improving your web design. Your website's design should be modern and professional. The photos should ideally all be unique and not from stock photo stores, like for example, this photo. So it should also be in good resolution, like not like this photo. So not from stock photo stores, not good resolution. Now what I've said may be some contra contradictory, contradictory. Sorry about that, but you know what I mean. So it may contradict what I've said a little bit before, when the photo should not be too high of a resolution for a website to load quickly. Um, they should, short pixel, for example, will optimize them to an ideal resolution where it's not too small, but also not too big to slow down your website. So um, design, should, design should also be responsive for all devices, primarily mobile. Why? Because 50% of all website traffic, 55%, so more than half of all website traffic is for mobile devices. If your website is not mobile friendly, you're essentially cutting up over a half of all your potential customers by not having a website that's optimized for mobile. Um, the site design should also be responsible. All devices and navigation should be seamless. The text should be properly sized and nothing should run off the screen like, this, like it's the case with many, 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 many websites. And that's about it. Good luck. Hopefully these tips will help you go out there and generate more restoration leads for your company. If you have any additional questions on conversion rate optimization or like a free consultation, leave a comment on this video, go to repairspar.com and schedule a call or join our Facebook group and just simply, uh, you know, shoot me a message. Um, yeah. And again, good luck. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.